Hello everyone, I'm going to begin this video with a trigger warning because I'll be reading comments from lo-fi videos and there are some intense topics like self-harm, suicide, and things associated with depression. So if these topics might have a negative impact on your mental well-being, please take care of yourself and click off of this video. You come first. You're going to watch me make two pieces today, lo-fi Kermit and lo-fi Dream. While I'm busy making these, you'll be listening to sad lo-fi music while I read sadder lo-fi comments. Before you get all gooey and relaxed and vibe into this video, I want to give a quick shout out to the original artist of Lo-Fi Girl, Juan Pablo Machado. I also want to thank my supporters on Patreon and Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare has a ton of video tutorials, and they're all organized like proper classes on stuff like animation, creative writing, illustration, all kinds of stuff. One particularly good one is a class by Andrea Pippins called Illustration in Action, Creating Stylized Portraits. Ah, gorgeous. The first thousand people who click the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. You can squeeze so much out of that free trial, and if you want to keep going after it ends, it's less than 10 bucks a month for all the learning you can handle. Now, let's listen to some sad music, read some sad comments, and make some sadder art. That relatable moment when you realize you're a side character in everybody's life and nobody thinks about you at all. I guess I'm a little weird. I like to talk to trees and animals. That's okay though. I have more fun than most people. Bob Ross. I just want to vent something. Through quarantine, I realized what kind of person I was. I started losing people I love and care about. I was diagnosed with OCD recently, and it hurts. I also started questioning my sexuality on a daily basis. My self-esteem went down. Basically, my life is upside down right now. Please never forget that you're loved. We may not know each other, but I'm cheering for you. Do you ever just say, I'm fine, because you don't even know how you feel anymore? This community is the only reason I'm living at this point. I love you all. Isn't it funny to think that find comfort from strangers on the net rather than our parents. I feel so damn defeated in life right now. Anyone who feels the same, you're never alone, so never give up. Anyone else just feel like sometimes the tears are clogging up your throat, but you have to show you're strong and can't cry in front of anyone, and tell yourself you'll just cry later. And then when that time comes, and you can't cry, and the sadness just builds up. Sometimes I really hate that I want everyone to like me. I mean, that's... Are you feeling sad? It's okay to cry sometimes. Just let out all that built up emotion. But just know that I care. A lot of people care. You just probably haven't met them. Or maybe you haven't noticed, and that's okay. It takes time, but never give up. If 
event comment. Recently, my stepmom has found out about my cuts. I told my dad and he's not happy about it. The way he tries to almost force me to talk about it bothers me a lot. I'm starting to come to hate him. I'm staying at my dad's right now. I'm afraid of what my mom might do if I go back home. I genuinely hate counseling because of bad experiences with it. And I just hope she doesn't take me for counseling. When you realize you lost connection with an internet friend, and you both become distant, slowly. Does anyone fake their happiness, and you're the one that comforts others when they're sad? But when you're sad, they don't do anything. I'm one of the younger ones here, I'm only 14. I have a life ahead of me, yet I still feel like I've felt too much things for a kid like me. Most people who will read this probably feel lonely and misunderstood and not blaming anyone but themselves. I want those people to know that even in a few years from now, I still care about every person reading this. I'm sending so much love to them. I love them with all my heart. Please don't forget that you're beautiful, kind, too good for this world. But please stay here and show the whole world how amazing and breathtaking you are. I love you. I'm proud of you. You're more than enough. I think it's stupid to let out your emotions. That's why I fake smile so people don't tell me it's fake. You're doing it for attention. scared that one day you'll see me like I see myself. Honestly, I drown myself so much in fanfics or stories, not just because of the characters, but to also hide and soothe my own sadness. Every person I liked never liked me back, and my crush started ignoring me. I never really felt heartbroken, just sad. And now I'm always longing to be in the stories I read, being, I guess, noticed. Don't fall in love. The worst thing is when he doesn't feel the way you do. It just happened too often. Is there anyone who can just be happy with me, please? I don't think I will ever get over her. It's weird, really. I was the one to end things. Looking back, things were beautiful. If only I was able to remember what was going through my head at the time. I'm sure I had my reasons, but looking back, I don't remember anything but being content happy and in love. I'm up right now creating some sort of unrealistic fantasy where I'll eventually tell her how I've loved her for two years now, and that this love only grew the more I learned about love. I'm thinking this all might be just an image I created in my mind, and we both grew as people. But when I see her every few weeks, I become immersed with her. My mind loses everything that doesn't revolve around her and I feel like I'm floating in a blue rain cloud made up of thoughts of her. I try not to regret the decision I made, and I manage to not be eaten up by my mistakes, but God, I would give everything to get another shot. I never thought so much of reviving failed relationships, but I know I've changed since then, and I want to prove myself and her I can do better. some toxic feelings out. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I know 
know that the perfect boy is just a figment of my lonely imagination, but I love him so much, and I just want to know what he feels like and what he sounds like. I just want to be able to love him, not through the ripples of my mind, but in real life. If you can accept your misfortune and handle it right, your perceived failure can become a catalyst of profound reinvention. This quote has helped me so much and I don't know who needs to hear it. I'm in a rough spot in my life and I hope maybe this can help someone too. You got this, stay strong, I believe in you. People cry not because they're weak, it's because they've been strong for too long. Something feels wrong, and it's making me cry, but I don't know what. I want to vent. Crazy to think that I could have jumped today. So many feelings, yet it's as if I forgot how to cry. I feel numb. Always. No matter how bad it gets. Sometimes I can't move, I can only think. My days are overwhelmed with my pain. I pray that I can cry to this. I do tend to get more emotional towards the night. You don't want to die, you just want all of this pain to disappear. If I die, or committed suicide, don't say, oh my god, I missed her, she was my best friend, no. You might have been the reason why I died that night. We say we want to die, but we just want to start living. because I don't understand. I can't comprehend that this is reality. Everything doesn't feel real. I look at my arms and myself in the mirror and I can't believe that this is what reality looks like. I don't know if I'm real anymore. I just want to wake up. I have to wake up. I want to wake up from this dream. They don't see us until they need us. They need us. They don't see us until they need us. They need us. Things just aren't turning out well anymore between the two of us. You're here to distract yourself and not cry? It's okay now, you're in a safe zone. We all love you. Don't cry, sweetie, you're precious. Edit, oh my God, it's so sad how a lot of you came here to cry. Don't, I love you all, don't cry, please. Oh.
noticed I'm changing into someone I don't like. Someone I'm scared to become or embrace. Now, I fear whoever I may become could hurt someone or myself. So I'm left wondering if I deserve redemption or should I make the ultimate sacrifice for the people I care about. Sometimes your house doesn't feel like home. Homesick for a place that doesn't exist. Because when you're physically at home, you still think, I want to go home. Quarantine has given me a lot of time to think about life. I never realized just how alone I am. It's funny how there are billions of people on this earth, yet everyone can feel so, so lonely. If I feel alone, but there are thousands of other people listening to this, also feel alone. None of us are really alone. We're all here together. I hope you can feel better soon. How come lonely people never find each other? Because no one talks about being lonely. If you're still listening to this, I want you to know that it's okay to feel more than one emotion at the same time. Even if they're opposites, we shouldn't reduce our emotional state to a single feeling at a time. We're all going through something different, but the one thing we have in common is that we're all going through something. We act like we're divided, but we're all one people, and we all share the same home. And I may not know you, but I care about you. And that's why I made this video. Not everyone is going to get it, but this video isn't for everybody. It's for you. You're doing great, and I'm proud of you.